Hey guys, it's Jana, and I went and picked up my click list for my groceries. I do not have my face on. I am not a morning person. Are you a morning person or an evening person? I went to bed at like midnight and had to get up at six to pick up the kids. That's like my normal thing on school days. I just, I can't fall asleep. I don't know, but I got my groceries, so check that off the list. So be sure to hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Let's go bring in the groceries so I can show you what I got. yogurts here different flavors needed some stick butter got some salami and ham just some sour cream just to have some to put on top of stuff got Quinn some cereal he likes the honey nut checks and the cinnamon checks and we got some honeycomb me wants honeycomb and a couple 18 count of eggs because I'm gonna be doing a lot of baking so here's all my baking I know that it's not from scratch but I'm making like 150 cupcakes for school so I got all of this stuff here we're gonna make little nests and put robin eggs in them I thought that would be really cute got all my fruit we got pineapple and some green onions bananas grapes strawberries and some blueberries we got our corn dogs gluten-free pizza for pizza night and that's a pepperoni pizza got some english muffins for easy breakfast some coffee for husband mustard 
Got some cashews here for good snacks. Potato chips, a barbecue potato chips. We got some more sun butter. Quinn really liked this. So if you have a peanut allergy anywhere, the sun butter is the way to go. It really does taste like peanut butter, at least the closest to it. Some sugar-free jelly. We've been going through this really fast, so I went ahead and got two. We just got some ground beef, some hot dogs, and some pre-made hamburgers for hamburger night, just to make that easy. We still have a ton of chicken and um, pork, so I didn't need any of that stuff. I got a couple loaves of this gluten-free bread. Quinn actually likes it. We've tried a few different brands, but this one seems to be the one that is a go-to. And then Udi's actually makes a hamburger bun for hamburger night that is gluten-free, so we'll give those a try. And I got regular hamburger buns for the rest of us. Got some waffles. We were out of hand wash, uh, both kinds, because we have the foaming and the regular liquid. I needed some more moisturizer for my face. Cotton swabs, running low on Motrin, and the kids need a pencil sharpener. I couldn't find one in this house to save my life. Quinn really likes these cookies. These are gluten-free also. Um, they're pretty crispy, but they are good. This is apparently accidental. I did not want mini cups. I did not notice that it said mini cups. It doesn't even say mini cups on here. It just says baking cups. Yeah, I was wrong. Got a couple bag of corn chips, tortilla chips, a couple bags of these gluten-free pretzels. They are actually really good. Some whole wheat bread, iced tea for Quinn, some salsa verde, we were out, barbecue sauce, and some more ketchup. We like this sugar-free. It's actually better than the regular. Why are you focused problem? Some gluten-free spaghetti, which is actually pretty good. Needed some oil for all my baking. Some rice crisp, we got apple cinnamon, salted caramel, and chocolate. Needed potty paper, everybody needs it. Got a couple things of bagels, we got blueberry and plain. Some carrots for snacks. Got a salad for dinner. Three gallons of milk, cause we drink milk every day. Apple juice and all my cheeses. We got cheddar, shredded cheddar, some Swiss, and some shredded parm. I think that's everything, guys.
was my grocery haul. We got a lot of stuff. Um, so let's see. We paid $296.24. Oh, this new budget is looking scary. We saved $37.22. That is 11% off with e-coupons and paper coupons that I had. So be sure to hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below, and I will see you next time.